morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be going over the War Robots 8.0 update notes, and there's a whole lot here. Also, wait to the end of the video, I'm going to have another video giving a detailed breakdown of this as well. So we have the new event, Anniversary Expo. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Guys, there are so many surprises planned. I cannot talk about it, but please make sure you have the bell icon selected and turn to all so you guys don't miss anything there's going to be a lot of amazing amazing things happening a lot of new things that you have never seen before and first time so it's going to be super super crazy as you all know we have the new robot skyros new weapons kuggle mace and hammer new weapons these new pilots theseus for the skyros and eddie Nall for all shotguns new turret gravity amplifier special editions of the eldritch kepi Eldritch Cramola, Eldritch Venom, and the Stellar Prisma. Paint job for the Skyros, which is the Magic 8. Beautiful picture of Skyros right there. Um, there is a little video on breakdown if you guys want that. Oh man, look at the picture of that new shotgun. That thing is amazing. All right, now this is great, great news here. Starting with the Anniversary Expo event, these things will become available in the workshop. Orochi, Fafnir, Incinerator, Scorcher, and Skull. This is amazing news. You guys have been asking for this, and it's finally coming here to the workshop. All these new weapons and robots. Also, these Titan weapons will appear in the shop. Kisten and Bulava. New drone Persephone uh, to the drone store as well. And new pilots added to the training center. Medea Nerium, Duke Tompkins, Raphael Petit, Jad Parks, and Ricardo Gomez. There is an image there. For the new additions this this okay so the gravity amplifier this turret creates a gravitational anomaly around the target slowing everyone in proximity the longer the enemy stay in the affected area the slower they move eventually all affected targets are locked down the anomaly cannot be countered with any anti-control effects so this is huge a very very powerful implement for the motherships the supply line rework this is huge guys before 8.0 bonus resources received via the supply line were limited to silver starting with this update you receive a random amount of random resources several times a day the bonus can now include gold platinum silver keys and power cells one supply drop unlocks automatically each day you can claim it in the supply center window you can unlock additional supply drops by watching videos and ads. The amount of additional drops is limited. Note that there will be several categories of resource packs. The most lucrative ones have a lower chance to drop. Claimed prizes, however, are removed from the pool every day, meaning you get better chances to claim rarer prizes each subsequent try. Wow, that's awesome. That's really cool. This is great for free-to-play players, paying players, any kind of players. Um, more access to more rare um, resources. This is always good. We have the new and improved a remastered version of Springfield. It looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see this live on the server. Um, updated beacon layout. This is actually really good. So the beacons on Springfield, Dead City, Shenzhen were renamed for the sake of consistency. And here are the updated layouts. So on those maps, center beacons was called something different. So in mostly all games... C is always the center beacon, but for whatever reason, those maps, they had, it was a different letter, which was really, really weird. So, A and D are now going to be the home, the home spawn beacons, or A and E. Um, very, very nice. Nice overviews of both of these maps here, all three of them. Uh, Whalen rework and Jaeger tweak. Starting with this update, Whalen can move while it's in his repair ability. That's great. Now you can support those teammates who always run away to keep Wayland's stats in line with the other T3 robots. We reduce its repair radius from 100 to 80 meters. Ooh, so a buff and a nerf. We also have updated ability mechanics on Jaeger. The robot will not stop moving when switching from one ability state to another. That's actually great. Um, the Jaeger is going to need a couple more buffs to make it a more desirable robot because pretty much now i don't think anybody runs that thing um and this is my most excited part of update 8.0 the little shootsy that could gets a movement speed buff so a buff for the shoots shout out to the shoots big time baby this is what i'm talking about this is great great news um man i can't wait guys check out my live stream i will be running the shoots and we will be showing off and showing out and acting a fool guys never miss one of my live streams they're always a ton 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 of fun 
So now we're going to talk about some bug fixes. Fixed Demeter ability getting locked in the shield phase. That's been a bug for a very long time. Fixed robot selection panel disappearing in team deathpatch mode. Fixed certain turrets causing endless loading when reinstalled on a different mothership. Fixed vertical aiming angles on Kepri and implemented numerous optimization tweaks. So very, very nice that they're adding, changing, and tweaking and updating the game further and further and further. All in all, it doesn't seem like they have like a ton of crazy new content in this one. Although we are getting a new robot and weapon set. It seems to be pretty minor in that regard and 8.1 doesn't look like it's getting to get a ton of crazy content either so i hope they continue to do what they're doing optimizing the game making tweaks making adjustments and just further fine tuning this amazing game that we all love that's it for today's video guys appreciate you all so much hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back